welcome back to my channel so in this video i'm gonna be giving y'all like the start from finish um process of how it is when i upload stuff to an event or if i'm uploading stuff just in marketplace well i've already kind of did that in my last video like where i was showing y'all like how to pack stuff and you basically can just click copy to marketplace to put in your marketplace or if you have an in-world store how do you like set it up like because you need certain stuff in order to do it and it's like a process when doing it that literally it's like one video on youtube where a girl is giving you the steps step by step how to do it so why not make another video but this is like my version or whatever so first and foremost i have a list of the things that you need to even get started doing the whole you know this is really for people that's like oh i want to be in an event but i don't know how to like set up my stuff like you know because you can't just sit there and have an event oh you can go on marketplace look up event booth blah 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 but how do you actually put your product there so people can buy it so these are the things that you need um you need a vendor we're gonna get into that you i recommend you buy an unpacker well, not buy. Well, not buy. Because some people might not have, you know. So, you can set, sit there and make your own unpacker. Like, and GIMP, Photoshop, whatever. But I didn't want to do that. I want to go all out. So, I sat there and I paid someone to make my unpacker for me. And I'm going to leave her Instagram in um, the comments or description, whatever, for people that want to hear her. Because she's very known for making good unpackers. She can make your unpacker for you. She can make your marketplace. Um... Like your little, what's the name? She can make a logo for you. She can make 3D mesh logos. Like the, the words. Y'all know you go to events, people be having them light up uh, signs and stuff. She make those. Like, I'm telling y'all. Um, I recommend mesh words, which are like the words that say like buy, demo. Some people don't use those and they just use where you click on the item or you hover over the item, you're able to buy it. But for me, I have it to where you click on buy or demo, you're able to buy it when you click on them words. So... I recommend those words. Um, like I said, either you need a booth to do all this stuff that I'm showing y'all, or you're going to need an actual in-world store. And of course, the product slash products already done, like already made or whatever. First things first, like I said, products. So the um, I recently just made these tattoos because with me, um, I make tattoos the thing that I'm doing while I'm home before I go back to school in January is I want to make two tattoos a week. So this is the first one I make or made this week. The second one, more than likely, I'm going to make that shit tonight and like post it tomorrow. So I made these under boob tattoos, um, something quick and easy. But instead of it just being like, oh, it's, that's it. Like, I think it's like four of them. And they come in two tones, either like fresh, which is just like black, or you can get it in faded. I didn't do red this time because I, yeah, I just didn't do red this time. So, like I said, remember, because I don't know if there's default settings that you can have, but I know for me, I don't have them. So, I have to sit there and individually do this. So, what you want to do, next owner, modify, copy, but no transfer. Remember, transfer means that somebody could sit there and buy your shit. And be like, oh, girl, here, here, go here, here, go some tattoos, like, and they don't have to sit there and buy them, like, they can, you can literally just send them to somebody, so, you have to make sure you do this, I'm going a little slow, because, try not to mess up, okay, now, once you do that, like I said, this is how you pack stuff, you're gonna go to edit, and y'all, currently, I'm at, this is, this land is about to be gone, like literally my friend she has like a shopping problem i'm sorry for y'all seeing all this cake but we literally would this is what we would do originally so this is my house over here and this is her house i don't know why it just looks so weird but her shit is actually nice and inside um and then i have like these little walls this is where i go when i take pictures and stuff like literally like this is the way i do it other creators i don't know what they do but this is how i do it and yeah and do your little pose whatever but anyway like i said you're gonna click edit you're gonna click on the little wand that say create and then you're gonna put down a box cool 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 then you're gonna go to texture and i'm gonna put my unpacker 
I have to go through all of this. I need to delete some of these textures. So this is my unpacker. Then you're gonna go to object. No, you're not gonna go to object. You're gonna go to next owner can modify and copy, but they can't transfer. Then you're gonna put like the title. So I'm packing certain stuff up. So I'm gonna name this under blue tattoo pack like 2.0 or something. Or maybe like zero two. No, I'm gonna just do two point oh. Oh well. Uh, B O M. So people can know is B O M. They're gonna go to contents, and you're going to put touch. Need that. Then you're gonna add your tattoos or whatever like products you have. So I have to add all of these one by one. Okay, now let me make sure I have all of them. Like I don't have like duplicates in here. So is add my store in there. So people can teleport to my store. So you can like landmark it. So yeah, in my in-world store. I need to rename this. Okay. Um, so now I have the thing. Oh, also you want to change. Oh, it's already on touch. So, but make sure this is on touch. Oh, you're also going to need this. It's an unpacker by touch. You can just look that up on marketplace. Um, I'm going to try to leave the links to this stuff in the description. So y'all don't have to like look it up and y'all just buy it, but you're going to need an unpacker thing. I think this was like a hundred, maybe Linden's. I don't know. And then obviously your little product, whatever. And then this is if you have a main store, you can put the location. But if you're doing an event, you don't. Well, if you're doing an event and you have a main store, you can put your store in the thing too. And also if, you have, if you're like uploading this to Marketplace, you can put your store in your contents too. So people, if they buy it, they might want to be like, I want to go to her in-world store or his in-world store or whatever. Okay, Done. And then you're gonna put more attached to HUD center. And then you're gonna put detach. And then it's gonna show in your recents. And then you're gonna, the reason I'm doing this here, y'all probably like, why are you not doing this at an event or um, like at your store? Because I feel like that's like, you know, I don't wanna be doing that. Like, I feel like that's unprofessional, like packing my shit up in the store like in my store like nah so and also this is the product that i made so these are the tattoos um this is the vendor it's free and like i said i'm gonna leave the link to this in the description too so what we're gonna do is go to my store so at my store, I have where like when you join, it's gonna be like join group or whatever. And you have to be in my group. I'm gonna say this now for the people that like wanna go to my store. I forgot I was running. For the people that wanna go to my store, you have to make my group your active group. Like you can always change which group you're active in or whatever. Like, yeah. So you're gonna do that, and then that's the only way you're gonna be. A, it's gonna let you buy this. Like I still haven't figured out how you can join and without having to activate it, like make it your main group and all that, whatever. But for now, if you want this free gift, and I'm gonna add some more gifts later on or whatever. But just saying, future reference, you are gonna have to do that in order because the system is not gonna like think you're in the group if you don't have that. Okay, so these are the tattoos that I made last week. All right, so pretend we're at my booth. We're at a booth or something or whatever, blah, blah, blah. All right, so let me put down, since I'm lazy, I'm just going to take a copy of this because I'm lazy. Okay, put this over here. Edit it so it can match up. I like to do like flip them. So if this one is to the right, I want to make the one next to it to the left. Like, you know, like, yeah. So have these. Are 
these lined up they look like it let me see all right all right i think that's good so then all you do like you probably like but why would you have that it's the same picture and da 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 you go to build upload image and then i'm gonna upload the picture that y'all just saw which is this and i'm gonna upload this so under boob 2.0 whatever so now it's in my texture so all you do that's why i i'm so glad i know this now if you want to just change the picture of something all you gotta do is drag the picture over boop and it changes same thing nah i can't do the same thing because then it's gonna have like the little by like nah so so then I'm just going to prep my stuff so that y'all see like, and then we're going to rotate this. I think I'm going to end up changing my bias, like my fonts, probably, I don't know when, but because I have like damn near three sets of mesh words. Okay. And I want it to be symmetrical with the one over there. Okay. Slide that over some. Um, so now, like I said, you're gonna get your vendor. You're gonna pay for your vendor, blah blah blah. It's free. It comes with like so much stuff inside of it. Some of the stuff I don't even know what it does. So say you get your vendor, blah blah blah. I'm just gonna go to read have it re-deliver just you know just what can pop up in my recents anyway so you're gonna get your vendor you're gonna add it click it whatever it says unpacking i'm a box head except detach um and then it's gonna have all of this stuff in here like i said i don't know what the majority of this stuff is the only thing that i use in here is where it says number three dropbox and i use the vendor casper vendor two headless those are the only things that i use so this is our vendor box so what you're gonna do you're gonna click it you're gonna put admin go to page so now when you buy it and you click it and you make it admin it's gonna like link your second life account to a web link so you're gonna go to page it's gonna take you to a page it's gonna have you log in remember me for seven days sign in so you say your username resident blah blah, blah your password a login then you're gonna go to products and of course this is gonna be empty these are all the items either in my store or at, that were at events and stuff like that. So you're going to go to, no, nah, we're not going to go there yet. Because if we go there, it's not going to be nothing in there. So we have the product we just made. We're going to click edit, open contents. You're going to go to the item you just made. Remember, you're going to go to this and click out of it. Now you're gonna go to list new product. Matter of fact, let's refresh because it take a little minute for it to like set in the box, like to transfer over to the website. So we just gonna, you know, make it copy, modify, no transfer ever. Don't ever have your stuff transfer. So we're gonna do like 125. Mind y'all, after December, my prices are gonna go up to 150 in my store. 125 and then um you're like oh no texture because i feel like it's really important for you to sit there and have your picture up here so you can know like you can sit there and not put a picture but you're not gonna kind of know like especially if you have a thousand items you're gonna be like what is this but if you have a picture you're gonna be like oh i know what that is so how do you get a picture? How do you, like, what is what is this? You know how we just put that picture up there and uploaded it? You're going to go to textures. Click this. Click UID. 
I think it copies it when you do that. And then I'm going to paste it. Press enter or whatever. It's going to tell me you need an item to deliver. Duh. And then you're going to click deliver an item. What item is getting delivered? So I'm going to look for it. And here it is. This is the item that's going to be delivered. Click save. And now our item is right here. Um, so now what you're going to do, we're going to leave this like how it is now. You're probably like, but it's just on the floor. Like, what the fuck? So then you're going to click buy, go to edit, change this to the name, basically the name of your product. So you go like Fallout, which is my store name, under boob, tattoo pack, 2.0, oh wait. It don't really gotta be like the same exact title, but you might just want it to be. So then you take this off and then you're gonna go to pay object for sale. And then you're gonna put the same amount. Um, and then you're gonna put contents. And then you're going to put, I don't feel like opening that um, headless thing. So, I already have it open. It's the same process as when we did the box. So, for people like, oh, but how do you do it? You just click add it and then, like, accept and stuff like that. So, is it not in here? But let me just drop it. Let me stop being bougie. Click open. Copy to inventory. Blah, 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 blah. Take. Give me that allow access now where is my object oh yeah let me take that off okay 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 no that's not it here it go like i said you're gonna go to buy and then you're gonna put this whole folder in here sometimes it don't be working when i put the whole folder so what you have to do is basically delete casper vendor to and just put that script back in here and now it's going to pop up now you're going to click allow access and it should work but now i have to put the same amount back in i don't know why but i didn't so you're going to do that and look it's already popping up the l but like look that's not correct like what is this you know so i had to do that and i saw another youtube video on that because at first the girl that made the tutorial on how to use the Casper box, Dropbox and stuff, she didn't really show like, oh, this is what you do to change it so that it links properly. What you're gonna go do is go to vendors. And you know, it says, um, click region. This is the one we just put. See, when you click, if you don't put the little title where it says buy on the thing, like I was like, you have to put the same. You well, you don't really have to put like it don't have to be perfect, but just so you can know, it can make it easy for you to find it. There it is, right there. And then you're gonna click manage, and then it's gonna be like, oh, what single item do you want? And then you're gonna find under boob 2.0, and there it is. This is the item that's going to be received by this vendor or that's going to be delivered with this vendor. So now, when you try to buy it, now it says 125 Now, to test it out, and in the video where she did, she did like, she kept like, to test it out, she put like one linden. To be honest, the way Second Life works, it's not like I and View where like if you buy something, you have to wait 14 days or you have to wait a certain period of time before you actually get the money. Literally, when somebody buys your item, you literally get that money right then. Like, so if I buy this, nothing is going to like, oh my gosh, now my 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 Linden just went down 125. Like, no, literally, <laughs> nothing happens. Click accept. And then you're going to go to objects and then just to test it out, click add. This is my unpacker. Like I said, hit up her. I'm going to put her Instagram in the fucking description, whatever it comments, because y'all need to hear her up. 
and then you're gonna click accept detach and then there it is now look there's my main store oh my gosh blah 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 but you're not done yet okay what do we do with this fucking box on the floor go to edit go to texture you're gonna make it 100 percent transparent that way nobody sees the box and this is what they do in booths and stuff too so that's probably why sometimes when i'll be walking in events i'll be like y'all like y'all know like the little noise when you bump into something and i'll be like it ain't no one no one near me but i probably be walking into little boxes that's probably what it is i'm gonna put it at the top and this is just like where i put my stuff at and then i'm gonna just lock this like even though nobody's really gonna know that's there but like see this when the pointer finger comes up that means it's a box right there um and then it's a box down here so that's just why i be putting my boxes so that's how i do my little products for my store um yeah so that's basically it and then say you want to do this to marketplace you want to put an item in marketplace you're going to go to copy to marketplace listings and these are all of my gestures and stuff on marketplace oh but where is it i don't see it say you have a hundred items go to unassociated and here it is and then it shows you like the stuff like it's packaged so there it is and then you just click create a listing now you have no more listings and then you're gonna go to second life and go to my store oh look my store oh my gosh but then you're gonna go to Merchant Home, Manage Listings, and there it is. But yeah, that's basically my, like the way I do it. That is how you set up a booth. Literally, it's the same steps on how you set up a booth, um, how you set up your store or whatever. Like, the more and more you practice doing this, like I said, I would suggest you practice doing this. Like if you have land, more than likely I would hope y'all have land to do this because in order to even have a store, you need your own land or you need to be on, I don't really know how that works. If y'all like do like a little contract or something where it's like, oh, we're both on this land together. I don't know, but anyway. And so, like I said, it's the same way if you have your own store, if you have a booth, when you put up the little buy little mesh words and stuff like that like i said i'm gonna put the mesh words in the description which are these little words that say buy demo and stuff like that or whatever i'm gonna put all that in the description but yeah this is my store um it's a little you know but we get in there um and i bought this off marketplace too so y'all probably look up store y'all gonna see the same stuff but I really don't have that much stuff, but just for people that want to come in my store, you want to, you know. <laughs> but it's getting filled up slowly but surely. But remember, my new releases for people that come to my store are to the left. But yeah, I hope y'all, I hope this video helped y'all. Um, can y'all please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'm going to be back with some more Second Life videos because... I do not play IMBU anymore. I sold my accounts, all three of them that I had. And all of my older videos, like my creator videos, I sold all of those accounts. It was really two, but I had a third one that nobody really knows the name of, but the person I sold it to. So yeah, if you ever run across those names, those aren't me anymore, I sold them. So yeah. Hopefully this video helped y'all and I'll be back like I said.